All right. If you have drill batteries and you have little electric cars for your kids, like Power Wheels or whatever, and your Power Wheels battery is dead and you realize there's seventy dollars to replace, you might want to consider taking your eighteen volt drill batteries and using a homemade wire to connect them to the car. I'll show you how to do that. So, take a charged battery. Be aware that it is 18 volts and your car battery you took out is almost definitely 12 volts. Some are even 6. So if you're not comfortable with that power upgrade, then please don't do this. It will go a little bit faster and the battery duration will be less because the amp hours of your power wheels or whatever type of vehicle you have is generally 12 amp hours, which equals about 30 to 40 minutes of runtime, these batteries have 3 amp hours, which equals about half of that, or a little less, so 15 to 20 minutes. The reason you might do this is because you might have a bunch of these sitting around, because your husband or yourself or whatever has a bunch of drill batteries that they use all the time with their drill. So anyway, in order to connect these two battery terminals to your car wiring harness, you have to create some kind of wire. What I do is I take a wire equal to or larger than the gauge of the wire in my car's wiring harness and put two male connectors on it. Quick disconnect connectors right here. You see they're two different colors? That's just because I'm lazy and that's what I was holding when I made this. So you need 18 volt batteries, wire equal to or larger than the car's wiring harness, a pair of strippers, crimpers, and cutters for wires of the gauge you're using, and one box of quick disconnect terminals. This is about six dollars for, I don't know, a hundred. So for about ten dollars you could probably do this. I would imagine you already have strippers and terminals, or strippers, and you probably have to buy the wire and the quick disconnects. So what I do is I make one little wire, strip the end, put a male terminal on there. Strip the end, male terminal. Take a female quick disconnect, rip the little collar off of it, this little yellow thing, get down in here with a screwdriver, like a flathead screwdriver, and just pry it up a little bit. Now this is so it will fit over the top of my male battery terminal okay so now I can take my male wire and connect it to my male battery terminal Whoop. now this is ready to go into my car's wiring harness I repeat the process for this other side do not at any point touch this terminal to the other wire or to the other terminal don't touch anything that is metal from one terminal to the other or it will shock you with 18 volts of electricity if you touch it <laughs> just kidding it will do nothing but if you touch it with something metal that conducts electricity it will shock you or at least make a spark and an arc so be aware of that if you happen to have Milwaukee 18 volt drills, I'm told that they have female terminals. So you can actually just plug your male terminal right in without doing that little wonky step I mentioned by taking a female one and kind of blasting out the bottom of it to make it female, sort of a female two sided quick disconnect. In any event, um, next is how we connect to the car's wiring harness. The car has positive and negative wires coming into the wiring harness. Positive is white, negative is black. They both have female disconnects. So, you come in here with your wire you just made, and you plug it in, in this case to the positive side. You're going to plug another one into the negative side. Strongly recommend that you do this first. Bring your battery here, and then plug this into your battery. If you do that, there's much less chance that when you're walking over here, your two battery wires will touch and create a problem or a spark. But that's all you do, is you put your battery here, put your wires in here, and connect them up. 
All right, so there's my positive wire connected. White wire, wiring harness, positive side to the positive side of my battery. If this thing is my foot and this little tower bit is my leg, the front terminal is positive on a DeWalt 18 volt battery. The rear is negative. So it connects here to the black wire. If you wire this backwards, all that will happen is that it will run backwards. So reverse will become forward. If you had two forward gears, then you'll have two reverse gears. To rectify this, you can just swap here this wire with this one and that wire with this one, and then you'll be fine. But just so you know, the white wire is positive. The front terminal is positive, so hopefully you don't have to redo it. I also happen to have a little kid's gator toy, and its battery terminal or wiring harness is like this. Same deal, female connectors. It says here this one's positive, this one's negative. So I just take my male wire that I made and I slide it into the female terminal or disconnect right there and do the same for the negative and you're good to go. So same procedure, just different wiring harness. Please proceed with caution at your own risk. Obviously, this is inherently dangerous because it is electricity we're dealing with. I would never do this to endanger myself or my children or anyone. So use your common sense. If this is above your skill level, don't do it. But be aware, it's not that hard. And the biggest danger is just getting these two terminals touching together. And if that's scary, you can just think about your car battery. In the same way, when you put your battery in or jump your car, you don't want to touch the two jumper cables together. You don't want to touch the two battery terminals in your car together. You've probably done that. This is the same principle, just a smaller battery that obviously drives the motor of your little electric car. So I hope this was helpful. Again, all you need are these drill batteries you might already have, a box of quick disconnect terminals, that fit the gauge wire you're going to use, a spool of wire that is equal to or larger than the gauge of wire in your car's wiring harness, and a set of strippers, crimpers, and wire cutters. All this one tool does all that stuff. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I will try to help any way I can. Have fun, be safe, enjoy.